Hey there, I am going to do a quick pour and this is an 18 by 18 Da Vinci liquid art panel. It's pre-gessoed. It's one and a half inches deep so it has a wood frame around it. So it's a cradle board. So I'm going to paint the frame after this dries to match it. It might be black, it might be gold, depending on what color I want to bring out. But I wanted to show you. And I do have a link in Amazon that it is list. There's a size listed in there, but they're not a lot. They don't have a lot of sizes on Amazon. This I got at Jerry's Artorama, which also is online. And, um, you know, they're not in a ton of sizes because it's a newer product, but it's made for high flow acrylics, fluid acrylics, like what I'm going to do. So that's that. I don't think I need gloves because I'm not going to pour over the edges. I'm just going to, there's a ridge here. So I'm going to let it, you know, drift to that ridge. So according to the chart, um, I need about 11 or 12 ounces of paint. This is a 12 ounce clear like solo cup. I wrote 12 on the bottom. So um, I'm going to do a dirty pour, but I'm going to try to do a gradient pour. And they're all deco art products. I've got lamp black, snow titanium white. Those are in my squeeze bottles here. They don't have silicone in them, but these do. And this is the Americana Decor Metallics, and it's pewter. So that is this color that's really dark. And I have some silver in a bottle. I didn't pull out the silver bottle. It's, here it is. It's shimmering silver. It's, it's dazzling metallics on that. All these are splendid gold, bronze, and copper. And the bronze, I've tweaked it to get it darker because it looks so much like copper that I tweaked it to go a little bit more brownish colored. And I used one-on-one -on -one ratio of the Deco Art pouring medium which is new and it's very nice. I'm basically just going to layer up my paint and um, I want it to have a little bit of everything. I'm going to pour it just in the middle like a tree ring pour but not really a tree ring and it's got silicone in it so there's going to be cells so it's going to you know kind of act differently than a typical tree ring pour because it has silicone in it. So and yeah, as you remember, usually whatever's on the bottom comes out first, so I'm kind of starting with the, the gold. So if you kind of pour it on the side of the cup, you can control it to be more of a gradient pour. That black sunk. I'm trying to do contrasting colors because I really don't want them to blend together. This pewter is really kind of strange. It's kind of bluish. It's different. I not used the silver yet, so... I don't have a lot of that anyway.
for the silver. Using up a lot of my colors here. I got a lot of copper though. So I kind of started with the gold and so forth, and I'm kind of ending with the gold. So we will see what happens. My plan is to pour it in the center and just tilt it and try to contain it within this ridge, which will be interesting to see if I can do that. And if I have anything that's lacking on the corners, I will most likely use black. So since it does have silicone in it, I'm going to go ahead and heat it. So it's in lumps or bubbles, I'm not sure which.
uh, most likely, um, so the paint went up to all the edges. I was worried about having to paint the inside of the lip, but with you tilting it, it, um, it covers. So you don't have to really worry about um, painting the inside lip of the panel. The cool part of this is that it's wood, a wooden panel, so you're not going to have warping because it's in a frame. I've got a super fine gold glitter. It's actually uh, embossing powder. And I'm just going to ever so lightly sprinkle. It's interesting, the white didn't come out. Recollections, sparkle embossing powder. It's, you can apply it over slow drying ink and heat it. And I'm just putting it over acrylic. I don't know if it'll do anything or not, but we shall see, huh? White may have made it grayish. I might should have just left the white out. That was probably not a smart move. But it's pretty. It's um, earthy looking. I think the frame would look pretty painted black. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So here it is up close. And I think I'm going to bring the camera down to the table to show you the shimmer. So I'm just starting in the corner here. I don't know if you can see with the let me see if I can get it with all the lights, I don't know. If you can see the shimmer. Okay, that's a little better. If I took one of the lights and turned it off, you can see. I don't know if you can see the sparkles. I'll have to, when I play the video back, I'll have to see if you can see it. It's a pretty neat panel, though. Um, like I said, it's a one and a half inch thick piece of wood and I can paint that black and then it's going to look like a framed canvas and I won't have to buy a frame for it which is really kind of awesome so there it is and this might even work really well if you put resin on the top of it um, because you've got that lip that's going to hold the resin in place and um, so I could see resin being a good option for these kind of panels too and then you just paint the frame the color that you want it to be so if you liked it if you will give me a thumbs up please and subscribe to my channel thanks well pouring friends here is an example of do as I say and not as I do. I had poured an 18 inch fluid art panel and it had been uh, about 24 hours and I thought you know I'm just gonna paint that sucker paint it on the sides. You see what I did here right? I was standing it up on the edge like totally straight up painting the sides and I thought this is so cool and here's what I did with my painting. All the paint in the center shifted.
like this is dry to the touch right here. See my little glitter sparkles in there, even? So, yep, I screwed up big time. I'll post the video anyway to show you what it looks like. You can hear the frogs in the background outside. It's been raining all day. But, um, yeah, I'm trying to shift it back, but, you know, it's not going to lay down flat again because it's already formed that skin on top. And now that it's been stretched, it's not going to do anything. So, I just wanted to show you. This is the Fluid Art panel. Here's the back side of it. You know, it's cradled wood. And it's a hard board in the center. And then there's a lip. And so, you know, right along the lip, I, ha I had to go inside a little bit with my black paint. But, um, yep, then I turned it on its side for the last side to coat it. And wasn't even thinking about the paint being so thick. I knew it wasn't dry but I didn't think it would move on me. So the moral of the story is don't turn your undry project sideways because <laughs> then you get a big fat mess. And I'm really disappointed because this one was kind of neat. It was all metallics and I had some white in there but the metallics were all pretty and I'd sprinkled glitter in it. So there you go.